Hi everyone, welcome to Dataverse Academy. In this video, we will learn what is Power BI semantic model. Then we will create a semantic model. And after that, we will learn what is default semantic model and SQL endpoint in Lakehouse. After that, we will learn how we can connect to a semantic model through Power BI. And at the end, we will learn how we can connect to the lake house using SQL endpoint through Power BI. Semantic model is nothing but a logical representation of your table which is residing in the lake house or warehouse. So here you can see whenever you create a lake house, a default semantic model will be created, lake house will be created and SQL endpoint will be created. You can see I have these five delta tables which is in my lake house and over these tables I can create semantic model. You can see I have semantic model 1 and semantic model 2. Suppose if you want to provide access of these tables to different departments like finance, marketing, B2B. You can see I have created semantic model 1 and in that I have used these three tables. It's not the copy of these tables. It's just a pointer to these tables. And using the semantic model, you can create a Power BI dashboard, which will directly pull the data from your lake house. And here you can see semantic model too. So you can consider providing this semantic model to different department. And where I have taken four tables and then created the relationship between these tables. And over that, you can create a Power BI dashboard and that dashboard will pick the data directly from your lake house. And you also don't need to schedule the semantic model to refresh the data from the lake house. Once the data is loaded or updated in your lake house, you can see that data in your semantic model. Now let's go to the Microsoft Fabric to understand this in detail. In my workspace Medellin Lab, you can see I have this sales lake house and with lake house I have this sales semantic model which is default and sales SQL endpoint. If you want to create a semantic model for that click on your lake house. Inside my lake house you can see I have these tables and using these tables I can create a semantic model. So for that click on new semantic model and according to your need you can pick the tables. So for my semantic model I am going to pick dim customer and dim date and dim product and fax sale. Dim date, dim customer, fax sale, dim product. Now provide the name to your semantic model and click on confirm. Our semantic model is created successfully. Now you can create a relationship between these table if you want. What I'll do, uh, I'll put the fact table in middle in dimension table in a star format and I'll connect order date with my dim date order date and the relationship between many to one then click on ok in the same way I'll create connection between other tables after creating the relationship between the tables you can even change the format of the columns like for order date we will change the format to short one and for item ID, I have whole number. You can change it to decimal, percentage, scientific, whichever you want. Once this is done, semantic model is ready to connect to a Power BI dashboard. Now let me show you the default semantic model. Now let's go back to our lake house workspace. 
and again if you want to create another semantic model you can click on new semantic model and you can pick the table from your lake house now click on your and here you can see this semantic model which we have created now let me show you the default semantic model which is created for our lake house so for that click on your sql endpoint inside the sql endpoint also you can see all the tables which we have in our lake house so at the below you can see data query and model so if you click on any of the table and if you have data as a view you will be able to see the data and if you want to write a query to fetch the data from these table just click on query or either click on new query and then you can simply write your query and then run it this is how you can get the data from lakehouse table using sql query At the below you can see model click on it here at the below you can see all tables tab and default data set object in the all tables we will have all the tables of our lake house as well as few system tables like execute a request history frequent frequently running queries and inside the default data set object again you will have all the tables of the lake house and some system tables so if you want to manage your default data set for that click on reporting and then manage default data set and you can remove the unnecessary table from your default data set So this is what we have in our default data set. Generally we don't use the default data set but it will be required when you are connecting to lake house from power bi directly. There you will get the tables from the default data set and if you are connecting a semantic model which you have created in that case you don't require the default data set. And one thing I want to show you inside your query tab, you can write the SQL query as well as you can create the views, functions and procedures. But one thing you need to note, you will not able to write any DML operations like insert, update, delete, drop, truncate. These are not supported inside the SQL endpoint. If you want to perform any DML operation over the delta table, for that you need to create a notebook. Now let me show you how you can connect to a semantic model or a lake house through Power BI Desktop. Log into your Power BI Desktop. Once you log in, then click on Data Hub. And here you can see Power BI Semantic Model, Data Mart, Lake House, Warehouse and KQL databases. So for now we are going to connect to our semantic model. For that click on Power BI Semantic Models. This is the semantic model which we have created. Click on it then click on connect. You can see all our semantic model tables has been populated. And if you want to check the model, click on model view and let me resize it and here you can see our model. So in this fashion we have designed our model. One thing you need to note, you will not able to edit it inside the Power BI desktop. You can see we can't edit it. If you want to add any table or drop any table from your model or if you want to change the data type of a column that you need to do in your semantic model 
and after that you can create your report suppose if i want to show the total number of customers each year so for that i'll use the clustered column chart and in the x axis i'll pull the year column and in the y axis i'll pull the customer id you can see total number of customer by each year so this is how you can connect your semantic model and design the reports now i'll show you how you can connect to your lake house using sql endpoint now go to your microsoft fabric account here you can see this is our lake house and this is our sql endpoint click on these three dots and then copy sql connection string copy it and now go to your power bi desktop here click on sql server then paste the connection string in server and we don't need to provide the database name and data connectivity mode you can see import query and direct query so in case of import query all the data which is lying in the lake house will be copied to your power bi desktop and in case of direct query mode it will be a direct connection to your lake house and the data will be lying in the lake house only and in advanced option here you can provide the sql query to fetch the data from a particular table from a lake house we are not providing the sql query and let's change the connectivity mode to direct query then click on ok you can see we have sales lake house and our sales warehouse so we need to click on sales lake house we have multiple tables which is in our lake house so from this you can choose any of the table which you want so we will pick customer table date table product table fact table and then click on load now all four tables has been populated here and you can see we just have the report view and the model view we, we don't have the data view why because we have chosen the direct query mode let's click on model view and you can see we have all the four tables and you can create the connection between the tables create like connecting the customer table with your fact table based on customer id and then uh, connecting the dim table based on order date and product table based on item id click on ok so once the relationship has been created you can go to the report view and you can create a report so this is how you can connect to the lake house using a sql endpoint through power bi desktop that's it thank you for watching this video